Correctional facilities routinely review and analyze all touch points between inmates and outside parties. In this demonstration, we'll show how DataWalk can be used to analyze communications to identify anomalies and help facilitate officer safety and control of prisoner behavior. We start here on the DataWalk Universe Viewer. This is a visual environment where data from many different data sources can be imported, structured, connected, and then visually analyzed. We see that this fictitious data set includes about 200,000 people, about 40,000 inmates, about 30,000 prisoner phone calls, and so forth. We also note that DataWalk can access data from external sources, and in this case, we've integrated with the White Pages service. For this particular analysis, we want to take a look at our inmates, and in particular, we want to look at inmates associated with a specific facility, the Sun County Penitentiary. So we select that. We see that we have about 7,600 inmates from that facility in our data set. And on this histogram, we can also take a look at the phone calls associated with uh, those 7,600 inmates. And we see that there's a number of different phone numbers that have been called by a number of different inmates. What we're interested in for this analysis is phone calls specifically associated with questionable numbers. So what we'll do is wipe the slate clean. And we'll go to our set of approved numbers. And we've got 32,000 approved numbers in this data set. We'll see of those 32,000 phone numbers, which of those were associated with calls uh, in this data. And we see that 28,000 were. We can also very quickly do, do a complement of that and see that 661 phones were called, which were not really on our approved set of phone numbers. So these are, are worth looking at in more detail. These 661 phones are associated with 665 calls. And now we go back to take a look at those calls on our histogram. And we see a very different picture. We see that this one phone number has been called by five different inmates, while each of these other phone numbers has just been called by one inmate. So we'll take a closer look at that phone number, what calls associated with that number. And we see that those are associated with a total of five different inmates. Now we can go off and take these five inmates to a link chart, where the first thing that we will do is to simply to connect those calls. And to those calls, we'll also go ahead and connect phones. And on the Universe Viewer, we did an analysis that indicated that all five were calling a common phone. So that's uh, certainly what we should be seeing here as well. And indeed it is. So this phone number is associated with these call logs, which are associated with these inmates. We can next add to this phone number our white pages listing, where we can see if we have an organization or person we can associate with that phone. And we see that this phone is associated with Angie's Pizza. Now, since we're talking about inmates calling a phone, these inmates are probably not calling for pizza. So we're curious to investigate further and see what might be happening here. To our inmates, we'll continue to build out our link chart. And now we'll take a look at visits. And we add the visit logs for each of these five inmates. And to those logs, we, we add the specific visitors. And we quickly see that there's one visitor who's been associated with a, with a number of visits. So we'll change our look, change our layout. And we see that this person, Robert Harris, is a visitor who's visited each of these people. And each of these five inmates, of course, has also been calling the same pizza parlor. We can continue to build out our link chart. We see if Robert Harris has been involved with visits to any other inmates. And we see four visit records. And to those visit records, we can now add the inmates that he was visiting. And we see that there are several additional inmates, Donald Teston, David Lunsford, Eric Bradley, and Kevin Ramirez. So what we have is a situation where Robert Harris has been visiting a number of inmates at this facility, and each of these inmates has also been calling a pizza parlor. This could indicate that perhaps Robert Harris is involved in facilitating ongoing criminal activity by inmates, and potentially he could be involved in smuggling contraband into the facility. Investigators now have a very specific lead to explore.